essential to every relationship is the connection that comes from being with. We all know those times in our lives when people have come alongside us, sometimes at the most difficult moments. When I look back on my own story, I can see those moments where individuals bothered about me. They connected with me and spent time with me in the good and not so good times. At the moment, those connections look different for each of us, but they're just as important as they always have been. This past year and the months ahead, I've been defined by disruption. And in that disruption, the thing we need more than ever is witness, an unfamiliar but beautiful and helpful word that helps us think about what this essential connection looks like. We see what witness looks like throughout the Bible. From Mary supporting Elizabeth during her pregnancy, to Ruth refusing to leave Naomi's side, and Elisha standing with Elijah and saying, I will not leave you. God made witness with himself possible when through Jesus, God is with us. Through acts of love and kindness, mercy and grace, Jesus draws close and is present in our every day. These examples show us what witness can mean for us, a closeness that shows our friends and family we care, that we can get through this moment by listening to each other's fears, being honest about our anxiety, celebrating moments of happiness and sharing good news stories of those who have found God in moments of longing and loss, of hope and hardship, we can offer hope. People need people and we all need someone to be with us, to share our place in both our suffering and our joy. And so, witness, that closeness and connection with others, means we become signposts to the presence of God through each other. In these days, I want to encourage you to be with the young people that you know. Stand side by side with them. Let them know you deeply care about them in their hopes and hardships, in their sadness and joy. And in that relationship, they truly discover that God is with them.